going on guys welcome back to another episode of ask eggy we're going through a little walk today it's pretty nice outside so getting a little bit of fresh air since i was out in the water for the last you know almost a week or whatever just feels good to be out uh back outside again i'm getting kind of used to that so the uh, question i wanted to address today was from c byram 93 and he had made a little inquiry into um <laughs> my uh, MMO days or World of Warcraft or whatever you want to say um, and that's actually kind of an interesting topic that I'd like to discuss um, so I kind of consider those to be kind of like the, the glory days uh, of my childhood I mean not necessarily I don't know I, mean, I did a lot of uh, you know I had kind of some other stuff that I did you know as a kid too like regular kid stuff but that was kind of where I started you know getting into less trouble and spending more time inside more time doing that but um, how I started was you know, growing up, we always had a computer, but I mean, you know, we had like dial-up internet, we had, you know, this wasn't, uh, it was always like old, by an old, like four or five years old model, you know, um, of a couple computers I had, you know, at first, we got our first computer, I think in like 96 or 97, uh, but anyway, just because we always had these outdated models, that's how I kind of got interested so much into computers, you know, I was learning to build, um, I don't know if I would say build computers because I didn't really have the resources, but just the inner workings and things of uh, older systems from a young age. I got interested and kind of educated myself with that. But uh, in 2006, you know, we went, we switched from like dial up to uh, cable internet. So we got our first cable internet and we got a new computer that year that was a decent, you know, of course pre built, bought from Best Buy or whatever, but it was, a, you know, it was a decent computer, decent enough. So, uh, what happened initially was, since I was, you know, start, suddenly had continuous high-speed internet access, really, really changed the game. So, um, my first real online gaming experience was, uh, I was one of the very first beta testers in 2006 for the original San Andreas multiplayer, because when San Andreas came out, uh, I initially had it for the PS2, and I couldn't get enough. It's probably... One of my most played games. I've, had, I've owned five or six copies of the game. You know, the only one that comes close to that for me would probably be Morrowind. I had probably three or four copies of Morrowind that I've, that I've owned. Um, but, so, I was big on San Andreas. I played, I would stay for days, you know, that summer 2004, 2005 when it came out. I stayed for days playing it when it came out. Um, and so I heard about the San Andreas multiplayer and I was like, it's incredible. So I was one of the very, very first beta testers on the Little Whitey server uh, that they had. We're gonna stop in, in this, don't spawn this bus stop. It's not getting so much traffic, so much wind. So I was on the Little Whitey server, this beta tester on Sandra's multiplayer. I played, played a lot of Sandra's multiplayer, especially that summer. Um, did a lot of playing on there, and I have, I have really, really enjoyed that. But um, as I was, I, I spent a lot of time playing that, and. Uh, a guy I knew who I kind of hung out with in the past, and then I didn't, and then I kind of got in touch with him again. He was like, oh man, there's this game World of Warcraft, man, you gotta check it out. And um, I was like, anything I was subscription based, you know, I didn't have a job, I didn't have money, you know, I didn't get an allowance, anything really. I was basically like, anytime I wanted money, I had to scrounge it out of the couch cushions, scrounge it out of the, uh, the washing machine was a good one, because my parents would wash their clothes. And uh, the change would fall out, I'd be scooping up in the laundry room, going crazy, getting my change up. But, uh, you know, anything I was, especially, what, like $15 a month, I was like, whoa, I can't afford that. You know, that's like birthday, Christmas money, I gotta stash that, you know. Don't got that to, to work with. But, uh, I uh, went over and, and visited him, and he was playing it, and, you know, I was watching him play it, and I was like, wow, hey, this is, you know, he's like, hey, man, hey, try it out, man. Hey, you know, I'm gonna do whatever I got going on, uh, check it out, you know, log on, you can create a character on my account, just try it out. And so I did, and I was like, holy shit, I mean, you know, I got, I was like, wow, this is, um, I can't remember, I, I wasn't so much into it at first, actually, now that I think about it, because I had no idea what the hell I was doing, I was very ignorant of the game mechanics, so I was getting my shit pushed in, you know, like, running into elites, getting killed, but he kind of started to educate me on different things, you know, I was like, <laughs> by the time he got a hold of me, I was like, level 18, you know, like all gray gear. I didn't even have gear and like a bunch of slots. But you know, if you 
for new players, I mean, you know, especially at that time, you know, that was very, very regular. I mean, to get that first green gear and blue gear, I mean, that was, you know, at a low level, you're pretty much not going to get that, you know what I mean? So it was what it was. But, uh, you know, I got into it, and I started to learn more about it, and I got more and more into it. And, um, you know, eventually I hit bubble cap, and, you know, somebody, I'm somebody who's very... I can definitely get into a grind. <laughs> like grinding does not bother me. So I got, you know, I got level cap. People were doing raids. They're like, oh, you got to grind like all this stuff. And I was like, oh, I, I fit me like a glove. I was grinding, grinding, grinding. I remember one time, uh, probably the longest grind session I ever had in World of Warcraft, which wasn't my longest gaming session. My longest gaming session was on Vice City release. I played that for five days with no sleep because it was just so incredible to me. I loved, loved that game. When it, all the Grand Theft Auto games when they've come out, I've gone crazy with playing them constantly. But uh, the longest WoW grind session was, it was a weekend. Um, well, it was a three day weekend because we had, I was in school, we had Saturday, Sunday, Monday off. But I went, started playing Friday nights and I played until Monday morning straight, nonstop grinding. And uh, then I fell asleep and slept through Monday and then you know, got up Tuesday morning, went to school, whatever. But I mean, I got really into it. I was doing raids. I was, you know, doing Ventrilo. I mean, I was I was super big into World of Warcraft, big time. Like I was very uh, what they would call like an elitist. You know, very min max. You know, I was up to date on everything. And then I know, and then as time went on, you know, I got it, I was really big into PvP. Uh, I was on Arena Junkies all the time, um, especially throughout high school. Cause I played. I, I didn't stop playing World of Warcraft until I think 2011. Cause I got Cataclysm. And I played it somewhat, but that was kind of the end of it for me. As far as, like, Cataclysm really just killed the game for me. It wasn't enjoyable to me anymore with the whole reworking of the old world. It just killed all the, everything that was enjoyable to me about the game, so I couldn't really play it anymore if that I sold my account. Um, but, you know, I, uh, and I was so into World of Warcraft, like, when I was in high school, like, I wanted to drop out, because I knew a guy who dropped out to play World of Warcraft, and I was like, God, I want to do that. He was, like, you know, he was always, like, super on top of everything, always had tons of gold, always was, you know, just super, had everything on point on, in the game. I was like, God, I want to do that. So what I would do, I would just go, and, uh, the bus is trying to pick me up. <laughs> and so, uh, <laughs> I would just go, and I would, um, you know, uh, Or was that now? <laughs> I would, yeah, I would sleep all day out school. I'd go get on the bus in the morning. I would go and I would sleep throughout the whole bus ride. The bus driver would always have to like honk at me, or somebody would have to sit next to me and wake me up when we got to school. I'd get up, go into class. I wouldn't even take my books or anything because I was like, I didn't give a shit at all about school. I was like, fuck school. I don't care about school at all. I'd go in and go to the first class because I would have been up, you know, all night playing World of Warcraft. You know, I'd have to, you know try and maneuver around it because eventually I did get my own desktop when I was like I guess I probably would in 16 maybe I guess when I got my desktop something like that my own desktop computer and so I played that all, all night you know my parents were super against it but I'd have the you know the volume turned off I had to share a room with my brother so I'd have the brightness it would turn like all the way down so he wouldn't notice but I would still sit there I'd sit there and play it all night until about like five in the morning when my dad get up for work I'd you know quick now, I wouldn't always I, I wouldn't have even always shut my whole computer down. I would just like turn off the monitor and just lay there. Because if I fell asleep at that point, you know, then I'm going to oversleep. I'm not going to get up for anything. So I'd sit there, kind of lay there, da da da, like 5:36, get up or like pretend to wake up and be like, oh, well, I'm up, got up early, you know, because I'd leave for school at seven. So I'm like, oh, I got up uh, at 5:30 or whatever, pretend to wake up and then sit there and play World of Warcraft again for like another hour and then like quickly like, rush out the door at the last second for school. I guess I get to school, sleep all day, sleep through every single class. Uh, you know, I'd have to always get like pushed from class to class. Then finally get home, maybe nap a little bit more, otherwise break out the Mountain Dew. I had Mountain Dew boxes, cause this was, um, once I got my first desktop, I had a, some, I had a little bit of like odd jobs, not like a real job, but I would be doing stuff like, I would, you know, like mow lawns and shit like that. But just to get some money for first off my World of Warcraft, subscription fees because my parents wouldn't pay that of course they hated <laughs> like me like well they kind of liked that I wasn't getting into trouble anymore but they hated that I was like spending all my time gaming and uh you know I would I had at one point I remember I had Mountain Dew boxes stacked up like on my wall which stacked up to the ceiling it was ridiculous I had so much so many Mountain Dew boxes but it was pretty fun I mean it was a good time 
Um, you know, just I was really serious in PvP. Like, I mean, I would get I would get really like super ha like rage like crazy on PvP because I was you know I'd practice my PvP skills like all day every day. But um, I wasn't in a PvP guild. It was very more PVE centered at the time. That I, I'm remembering this. Um, so they'd be doing, you know, their. I'm gonna film over here a little bit. <laughs> you know, so there wasn't like, um, there wasn't a spot for me. There wasn't. We didn't do pre guild pre mades. We didn't do guild. We didn't have arena teams in our guild. You know, it was very all like PVE. I mean, and we were a pretty good guild. So I mean, there was some people that had their, you know, like the, like some of the top people on our guild had like an arena team, but I wasn't, you know, I wasn't fit for their team or whatever. You know, they had their team and they didn't want, they had kind of had all that figured out. So um, in any case, you know, that went on and I played that for a long time. But also at the same time then, um, I should say, before, because like I really got serious, you know, with WoW, like Burning Crusade, Wrath, um, you know, that's like those were when I was playing like huge amounts of time. But before that, you know, I try, I did something else. Um, prior to that, I played uh, Fantasy Star Online on a private server, S C H T Hack. You know, we called it Shit Hack. I don't know, you know, if, if anyone's really familiar with that game. But I loved, loved, loved Fantasy Star Online. Fantasy Star is a series, probably got to be one of my top three game series of all time like unquestioned love fantasy star series love fantasy star online i played that i had hundreds of hours logged you know summer vacation was like basically you know uh have like 10 hours pso 10 hours of wow sleep you know force yourself back up chug a couple mountain dews for some energy get back to gaming i mean that was that was my high school summer vacations that was where it was at really good times and that was really the last real MMO experience I had was with Fantasy Star Online 2, because you know once I that came out I think like the end of or like early 2013 and 2012. Let's see, yeah, some yeah would have been somewhere in there, I believe. In any case, um, so uh, you know I had built my first computer, you know in 2013, uh, the one I have now, the one that's you know like pretty beasty. And so I was able to play Fantasy Star Online 2 on really good settings and very smoothly, which I wasn't able to on any, you know, I had my laptop before that because my desktop I had, wouldn't have been able to play it, but it also was lost in my house fire in 2010. It got, my whole house got burned down. So, you know, in 2013, you know, I was playing, a, I, I would play, I was working my job 40 hours a week and I would still play PSO2 50 hours a week with that. And that's just how serious I would miss sleep all the time for it, for the emergency quests and everything. I, would, I didn't give a shit at all. I was like, fuck it, work means nothing. I would go to work and I would just be like dreaming <laughs> at work about playing more PSO2. I love MMOs. I mean, they're horrible. They'll you know take your entire life. But I mean, I had a wonderful, wonderful time. I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. You know, I still have many, many good memories of playing MMOs, playing WoW, you know, playing uh, PSO that I'll never forget, you know, they're some of my most dearest and cherished memories, but you know, hopefully moving forward in life now we'll have some more memories to make, some more cherished and uh, enjoyed memories, but I mean, like I said, those were great times, wouldn't trade them for anything, wouldn't trade them for the world, so um, there's probably some other, I mean, there's just so much, because I mean, I can't even say all the things, it would probably take, I don't know if I can even remember everything with World of Warcraft, because I mean, I played that game, that was every day, every waking moment for months, you know for years so I couldn't even think of all the things that we did in World of Warcraft it would take forever you know and I couldn't remember all of them but I'll just you know say it was uh, it was my teenage years were MMOs and I love it I had a great time it was very enjoyable and um, so thank you for joining us today guys and we'll catch you later